Hello, everyone. RPG King of Kitty are back with some more. Virtue's Last Reward. In the previous video, we went through the rec room, and god damn, it took me forever to do anything in there, but we're getting out right now, so let's just get out. It's locked for the exit. So it's locked right now. Time to kiss this weird ass room goodbye. I actually had a rather nice time. Whatever. I'd rather forget any of this ever happened. Three, two, one. You found it! Interesting. No. What is this place? A warehouse? Hey, uh, look over there. Now the interesting thing, these doors are... Shall we like, have a look then? The interesting thing is, I wonder if Alice will be all crazy when we go in. That's my question. I wonder, I really do. Or if she'll be crazy before we go in. Doors too. They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. <laughs> this one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So these will be the next doors to open? We should go let the others know. Right. Outside, turn to go, but case stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Only somewhere very similar. You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. Gate Yo, you piece of opened. shit. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. The hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah, let's get going, guys. Sigma? We're still in the OG's team. Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Treatment center? How is that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Uh huh? 
What are you talking about? You did. I saw it too. After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. Show us what you took. Uh, get away from me. Laura shoved her hand into Deal's pocket and began to dig around. Oh, he has the the injector. It should be thing. in this one. Let go. Where Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! An injection gun. The label on the vial says Neostigmane. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Give it back! I found it, so it's mine. With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover. But before she had a chance to protest... Have any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! Quark? Something happened to him? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. Think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. Just saying it's a possibility. Well, even if it is, we should be looking for him. Yes! As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seems strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. Turn and head towards the magic door. Beep, beep, beep. Fork? Are you in here? It's not. Damn. Let's try floor B then. took the red door. Probably already searched that area pretty thoroughly though. Then maybe I'll try the blue door. The blue doors were the one we went through, wasn't it? Quark, where are you? He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Ah, oh, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. Can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind, if you found him, you would have said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Oh well. Let's go back to the Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Well, did you 
find him? Sorry. Can't find him anywhere. I... Damn. I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah. We're it. I see you guys didn't have any luck either. Yeah. No clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Well, will we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Anyone's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we met. See tears glint. Glittering in the corner of his eyes. For just a moment, I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair. I felt like someone had put my heart in a vice. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Hey! You guys, come here! What are you standing around for? What? They're in the crew quarters. Just come on. That's, that's, it was going by way too fast. I couldn't even read it. Oh, is he dead? He's probably fucking dead. Nope, Alice is dead. Luna is not dead. Uh, no. How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Luna's not dead. Only her heart stopped. There was a roar in my ears. Breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sound muffled, as if I was hearing them. Through layers of cotton. I press the shaking hand out to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven in her chest so far that only the hilt was visible. And the entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow the steam lump in my throat and turn towards Luna. Like Alice, at first glance she seemed unharmed. And I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however. I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what I would find, but pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. She's not dead! That thing is... not... to kill. They're... they're dead. My god. What on earth happened here? That bastard killed them! Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the A.B. room. You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. That's pretty far-fetched. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. Do you think there's someone else in here? 
Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm. Oh, give me a break! How can you just sit around here talking? No, no point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer! I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. No, Alice Ten killed herself. Ten minutes remain until and Luna Adidas just injected herself with the gun because she knew what the thing would do. All Where's players, Clover, by the way? Enter your well, Clover's with us, but she hasn't if said no anything. Is recorded before the deadline has passed. Any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally? So that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. Killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the A-B game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against Kay, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. We should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us then. Huh? Do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? What did you just say? Are you okay, fucking with me? Uh, not salty, but, uh... Knock it off. Is there really any point in arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. Alice... Come on, Clover. Gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere! I can't just leave her here. Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got six BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Take a deep breath and unlock the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for an answer, all I found were more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? Luna's not dead though! I know what's in the thing, she's alive! I think I wasn't in any kind of mood to play around with Zero's ridiculous games. At this point, I didn't really have a choice. 
Let her silent sign start. I've heaved a silent sign in the head toward the entrance of my AB room. Well. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points, for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but how many points do you have? Me? I recall you and Clover chose to betray in the first AB game. It means you should have 6 BP right now. Betray me and get another 3. You could get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. You picked the tray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety. As I only had three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. I want to get out of here as soon as you can't possibly can't. Good. Ugh. Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. That? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Once that opens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. I trust you remember now? So if someone opens it and escapes. Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't tell me your plan to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that, if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? I don't know, of course we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving oh, as a group I love is the most logical choice he makes. Ten seconds One remain. Remains until oh. Abadex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. Startle. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. And you're fucked. I had made a compelling argument, but I still had to make my choice. I'll ally. Why not? He'll probably get betrayed. Who did he choose to ally? Oh, he chose betray. He'd have nine points, and I'd have two. Still, even if we did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never see? Ten, Ten seconds, seconds remain until Ambidex game uh, closes. Not really my debacle, but my... Nine, I'm gonna feel like a eight, piece of... My thought seven, process is normally... Six, the five, In our first... Like, four, nor, three, in our first... Two, in one. our first rounds, they've always picked the opposite of what we pick. So I'm thinking like... Okay, I know this is completely different than what's going on right now, but I'm just think I'm thinking about when I go and betray Luna. 
is she going to hit betray or is this going to be one of the rare cases where it stays the same and she has ally? I'm just going to feel terrible about that because I, I hate it. I don't want to hurt Luna. Ally, I don't want to hurt Luna. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Has been completed. Results will be displayed huh. in the warehouse. Thank you for right. your participation. Let's see how this goes. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Alright. Here it goes. So I'll say this could alright. Betray betray. Betray ally. Ally. I fucking knew it. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet. To see your updated bracelet points. What? So you did indeed choose Ally. You tricked me. I apologize. Sigma! You fucking idiot! Now Kay's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. He's not going to just leave us. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. God damn it. What? Before I could react, Kay slid past us with speed and agility that bellied his size. In the blink of an eye, he was staying in front of the number nine door. Kay! God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! Didn't give any sign that he'd hurt Dio. Just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. Is. He could it go out, but of course he's not going to. Unless he just hurries up and runs now. Why did you do it? I trusted you, Kay. The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done. God damn it, Kay. I apologize. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Okay, wait. Can you even turn around? The number nine door is closed. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. He's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, Sigma! There's no point to blaming him now. Yeah. It's not like we can open that door again. Oh, yeah, we need to mind. Damn it! This isn't right. This can't be right. 
stood there in sound staring at the door. The only exit to the outside world, not closed forever. My only chance of escaping now was to hope Kay would keep his word and contact the police. Allison and the older woman who had killed them. Where had Quark gone? There are questions we still have hadn't answered. We have plenty of time now. Perhaps we still would. Game over. You suck. You are terrible at this game. Okay. Okay, figured. Okay, well... Let's hit the train and see what happens. Oof, the... Betray. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. To the results screen. Betray, 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 ally. Betray, betray. Oh, they didn't say check your bracelets. So you picked betray. Leading to a draw, it would seem. Don't feel bad about it or anything. I could ask the same of you. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. I had thought that you would choose ally. If I had, then you'd have 9 BP right now, wouldn't you? Let's try it, but I'm not gonna let you get out of here that easily. As I told you before, even if I were to reach 9 BP, I would not necessarily leave immediately. I might choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 BP. Yeah, well, I considered that. Didn't seem likely. Then you do not trust me. Well, no need to apologize. Trust must be earned in a game like this. This guy told me to trust him so he could betray me. <laughs> Indeed. Clearly, I don't deserve to be trusted. So you chose Betray too, huh? If you just picked Ally, I'd have 9 BP right now. Why on earth would I have done that? There's no way Clover would have chosen Ally when you had a chance to betray her and get to 9 BP. Are you an idiot or something? Bunch of smart asses. Of course. Luna... Luna's bracelet is already off. No risk of a penalty for her now. That brings Quark's BP up to 9. Are you worried that he might try and get out? Well, if he were to do so, the rest of us would be trapped here. Hmm. Bet you're all pretty happy he isn't here right now, aren't you? Oh, nobody's saying that. Yeah, maybe you aren't saying it, but I know what you're thinking. Luna's dead, not dead.
The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. Yay. The Ambidex yes. gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? That means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? So it would seem. All right, well, where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Oh? You found them already? Yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys. Take a look at the map. Wait, we're just... Okay, there are three white doors in the 4B warehouse. I was like, we're just looking at the map. We're white not doors, going huh? to it. Maybe that's where Quark went. The warehouse on floor B, you said? Yeah, but you're not going to be able to get through them until they open. We've still got more than 80 minutes until that happens. Damn. We will need to form groups of colors that can make white. Time we had a look at all our colors then. Yeah. Looks like they've been shuffled around again. Looks like I'm a... Blue Solo. I'm a magenta. Pear. As am I. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. You say something? What color are you? I'm a green Solo. Ugh. What's with the sigh? Forget about it. He has to go with Dio. How about you, Cyan two? Pear? I'm a Cyan Pear, too. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. Both of them are yellow pears. And what color is Quark? He's a red Solo. In order to open the white doors, you'd normally need, say, red, blue, and green. But souls can't group together, right? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red and green. Cyan is a mix of well, blue and green. Well, this is the first time they actually explained it like so this. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. Let's see. Okay, then. We just need to get to the Floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taking off, then. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer doesn't sound like a good time to me. The guy who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. What? Well, then again, loners often turn out to be killers. Just what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... Knock it off. I don't actually know one of us is Killer Dewey. We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us. And there is an excellent chance that Zero Senior and the Killer are one and the same. And why did he kill Asaluna now? Zero Senior wanted any of us dead, he could have done it way before then. While we were, were, I don't know, unconscious, for instance? It's why it's starting out this whole game just to kill off two of our participants halfway through. Wait, then are you saying there's another person in here somewhere? I think it might be a good idea for us to all look for the killer. Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah, I've got to find Quark, and soon. If we're going to search, we should go in pairs this time. 
Where are we going to pair up? I'm not going with Kay. If he decides he feels like snapping me in half, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. I'll go with anyone besides Dio. I don't want to go with Dio either. Fine. He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. What the hell? Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, I'm gonna be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. No reason to put it off. I will go with Sigma. Would you yeah. prefer someone else? Yeah, I guess you're okay. That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. Looks like we're all set. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. All right. Clover and I'll take the magenta door and the red door. Nice us with the yellow and green doors then. So we're all done. Let's meet in the floor B warehouse, all right? Got it. See you later then. Beep, 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 beep. The infirmary, the infirm, infirmary. I actually enjoyed the puzzle in this room. That's nice. There's no one in the infirmary. All right, guys, I'm going to end the part off here. So, excuse me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know. Uh, how shocked are you that we saw both uh, Alice and Luna dead? I'm still pretty sure Luna's not dead because what we learned about that thing, it just stops the heart for a while. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not dead. But, I don't know, maybe she is. Maybe it was too big of a dosage. I don't know. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. So let's follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. Want well, thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.